As you've been working on your design portfolio and building your skills, in service pattern design and illustration, you've probably already been dreaming about some of the places you'd like to see your art, right? If you're anything like me, you can see or you're hoping to see your cards at Paper Source and you've got designs that would make the coolest leggings for children's place. And seriously, your bedding designs, they would be best sellers at Anthropology, right? I totally get it. Um, even if your portfolio is small, the beauty of patterns is that they can work on a lot of different products. So you may even have a single design, one magical unicorn design that could work for all three of those clients. Today I want to talk about the first thing I teach in both my Finding Freelance Clients Masterclass and my Start Your Surface Pattern Business course. Um, you can find info on those things in the description. My masterclass, free masterclass is coming back soon, I can't wait. But the thing that I totally didn't do, which is why it took me like six years to build a client list into something I'm really excited about, I want to tell you about that today, right? Step one in taking your portfolio into the world and finding someone who will pay you for your skills is to narrow down the insanely wide world of surface pattern design. Getting clients takes a combination of positioning yourself and research, but if you're researching hundreds of companies and dozens of product categories, you're going to burn out before you get started. I promise you, like it can be so much work. Tell me if this sounds familiar. You've got 10 or 15 patterns in your portfolio. You've started to envision them on different products. Maybe you've even tried a few prints on mock-ups, seeing that they look amazing on bedding, notebooks, even water bottles. Ooh, that water bottle idea is a good one. You hop onto Google, you start looking for water bottle companies, and 25 minutes later, you've got a few companies that make water bottles and lots of links to cute bottles on target.com, right? Getting a little discouraged or maybe just distracted, you take a break from researching because while you were on Target's website, you saw the cutest gift bags got you thinking of a great greeting card idea. Now you definitely have to sketch it out and it's such a good idea that tomorrow you're going to finally narrow down your greeting card list and decide on some companies that could be a good fit except when you look through your portfolio, you realize that you only have about three or four greeting card designs and that doesn't feel like enough. Maybe notebooks are the way to go. Seriously, this was me seven years ago. I promise you are not alone. And let me tell you, lack of clarity is a major reason people get stuck and end up working on their portfolio for years instead of actively getting their work in front of potential buyers and clients. You may know that I'm big on taking action even if you aren't ready, and that's precisely why I was always looking for angles and product categories that I could find work in. So yes, building momentum requires consistent action, but what I didn't realize was that by stopping, starting, trying to figure out a next move, trying to get a portfolio that covered all the bases and plenty of second guessing myself, Finding consistent client and licensing work in surface pattern design took way longer than it needed to for me. If I had committed to start somewhere and to find that focus and stick with it for six to 12 months, I would have had made much quicker progress. I would never ask you to limit your dreams. I'm not a monster. Come on, we should dream big, but I would recommend you need to start somewhere. Pick a product category that you would most like to design for and start there. I go deeper into the wisdom of this in some of my other resources. Again, check the description. But assuming that I just delivered that so incredibly convincingly that you're not even arguing and saying, no, but I, I want to make this, this, and this. The next question you have is, how do I know which product category to start with when there are so many awesome things in the world with art all over them? I wanted to pause for a minute there because anyone who thinks surface design market is too saturated, I totally get why you think that, but honestly, so is the retail market. Um, think about the last time you were in a store like Home Goods. Do a little visualization here. It might have been a while with COVID, but let's think about it. How much of that stuff has art all over it? I'm thinking about my local Home Goods, and you come in, there's decorative pillows up front, there's all these like tchotchkes, like globes and animal statuettes, uh, there's a wall art section, dishes, a pet section with like beds and bowls and decorative signs. That's only like a quarter of the store. There's bedding, gift wrap, notebooks, journals, so much art, right? Home Goods, for, for 
you know, specifically has so much art, but there's everywhere. So if you haven't been in the industry very long or at all, you might not know where to start with your art. I just named like 60 products and that was a small selection. But today I'm gonna make it super easy for you because I created a quiz and that will give you feedback on what might be right for you based on your skill set, the type of art you do, and how much you like or dislike trends. After you take the quiz, you'll have more clarity as to what category is for you. And if you agree and love that industry, you can set your focus on finding clients in that sector. I based the quiz answers on my experience working with a ton of different product categories through the course of my career and what types of things were required of me for each category. And that's something I wanted to note. I told you that I didn't exactly niche down when I started, and I think that made things a little slower than they needed to be as far as my freelance and licensing trajectory goes. But even if you start very narrow as at the get-go, as you get clients and money and experience, you will naturally expand. So choosing a product category today and saying you'll spend the next six months focusing on it does not mean you can't have that like well-balanced variety in a year or two. Jumping from apparel design to gift bags to dinnerware, which is what I do currently. You definitely can. Focusing on one sector simply helps with the overwhelm of starting something new, which makes it a lot easier to start. And as you know, I am huge on starting. Just get started. So, all right, if you enjoyed this video, I'm getting more consistent with my video releases. Don't know if you noticed, but be sure to subscribe, get notifications before I get around to posting on Instagram. Follow me on the gram though, because I do have some really exciting IG lives coming up and check out the description and take the quiz, share the results, tag me, let me know if you totally agree or if you think you'll be going another way with your focus. From people who have taken this quiz before in my last class, most people were really happy with the results. They felt like that helped them focus in. Sometimes it gave them suggestions that they hadn't even thought about. And sometimes it kind of confirmed their own suspicions of what they thought they would be best at. So I'm really excited of finding about finding out what you get. So tag me for sure, eSilver Design, and let me know what you get.